Hey everyone, yes you should. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a game that came out just under a week ago. I wanted to make a video for anyone that is skeptical. Admittedly, when trying this game out back on the playtest, I wasn't particularly sold, but the live release feels a whole lot better. Today I wanted to talk through the game, give a brief rundown of it, and give a sort of overall review. Starting out with the family, the family is interesting, as all members play very differently. You have Sissy and Hitchhiker, two characters able to fit through small gaps like victims, but also set up different traps to catch them out. You then have Johnny and Cook, who are both higher damage tracking characters. Finally you have Bubba. Bubba is the character who's going to do most of the slashing, and even spawns in the basement, which is where the victims also also start. You have to have a Bubba on your team, and ideally you want one of the trap characters and one of the tracker characters to make up a well-rounded team. If you're Bubba, your goal is to do as much damage as possible and disrupt the victims. Up above, you're going to be preparing the map's defenses, setting traps, or applying locks onto doors. There are multiple different ways victims can escape, so you have to patrol a lot and make sure no one slips past without notice. Not only because they can escape, but also because they're able to sneak attack you, or Grandpa. Grandpa is a map-wide tracker who you feed blood. The more blood he gets, the more frequently he can track. Each time he screams, all survivors must stay still, otherwise their location is revealed. One of my personal favorite roles to play is Cook. He's able to hear victim movement more acutely than the others, and can pinpoint the locations of them for other family members to catch them. It's a sort of support role, but it still feels like an important part of the team, even though you're getting less interaction directly with the victim side. What I like about the victim side is that it really feels like survival. As the victim, don't expect to be on equal footing to the family. You aren't. You start tied up in their basement for a reason. From there you have to survive as best you can, with Bubba potentially around the next corner. In most games you'll have someone not make it out of the basement. That's just kind of how it goes. Whilst this may seem frustrating, it's not too big a deal, because you can quite easily queue for your next game within seconds. The main tools at your disposal are lockpicks, that you find in toolboxes, and bone scraps you can scavenge from bone piles. These are essential to surviving, and you'll need to pick up a few as you go. You can play this role in many different ways, and there's different victim abilities to facilitate them. You can choose to be much slower but surer, making your way from the basement to any number of exits, by crouching around, avoiding detection, and so on. Alternately, you can make all the noise, stack up on bone shivs, and go full-on aggressive. One of my favorite games so far, I was the last alive, I managed to sneak my way all the way to the edge of the map, I had multiple close encounters with different family members, but managed to evade just long enough, using my ability on the final gate needed to escape. And it was one of the most intense gaming moments I've had for a long while. <laughs> <laughs> as cheesy as that sounds. The main positive of this game, I think, is that there's a ton of variety. Each game pretty much runs differently. As a family member, you never know which exit the victims will be going for, particularly because a lot of the time they'll all have different plans. Each of the family members need to play to their strengths, and get the most out of their abilities, all whilst leveling Grandpa. It's a lot of micromanagement usually, and it's usually something I find a lot of fun, even in the support roles. With that said, starting down in the basement and right in the action with Bubba is a lot of fun too. For victims, there's a definite acceptance of your fate you need to have at the start of each match. There'll be times when you get caught instantly, and there's times when you'll do near to nothing but get away. There's also times when you'll fight all game to get out, but fail. The thing is, all of these are usually pretty fun. I've never felt frustrated with this game particularly, because usually when something went wrong as a victim, it's because I made a mistake. I made too much noise, I took a wrong turn, I did a risky play. The victim role is most fun when you try to just have fun, because as mentioned before, you're not going to be surviving the majority of your games. In fact, I haven't played a single game on either side where all of the victims escaped, so in my experience, that just doesn't happen. Let's talk about the negatives now. For me, there's a big negative, and honestly, the thing that put me off the most was the price tag. I bought this game for £33.50, where I honestly feel the price point should be closer to about £20 for the content you're receiving currently. The game is fun, and there is stuff to grind and work for, and perks to unlock, but I don't think quite enough to warrant the price point. 
that's pretty subjective though. My other gripe is early on into the game, I got a lot of freezes in my game. I'm not sure what caused this. Once I turned down the graphics to medium, these issues went away. And really, it's not a big deal. I've also had a few error codes, but again, largely the game's been fine. Then that's basically it. I've had a lot of fun with this game, and I would definitely recommend giving it a shot. This feels like a very unique experience, and it's a game you'll enjoy even if you're not that into the TCM franchise. I've watched the films, but I'm not a super fan or anything. I enjoyed this game as a game, a fun experience that is separate from the films. I imagine being a fan helps with the enjoyment, but it's by no means a necessity to even be aware of this franchise going into this. Well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on TCM2. Thanks, and goodbye.